Today I'm gonna to teach you how to troll using the Fish Pro Trophy in the Everglades for peacock bass. Now a lot of people don't think, when they think sea dew, they might not think trolling for fish, but the setup on this makes it easier than a boat in some ways. First, let's break down the cruise control itself. The sea dew Fish Pro Trophy is equipped with intelligent throttle control, which allows the PWC to operate in neutral and cruise control settings, which do include eco, sport, touring, and slow modes. To engage the slow mode, you click the button on the left handlebar that looks like an odometer. Then click up and down arrows on the right handlebar to set your speed. The blinking number on your display represents the fastest speed you can go while this setting is in place. For peacock bass, I'm probably gonna be starting around the two and a half mile per hour mark. All right, for baiting these, make it simple. Circle hook here, go up underneath the chin on these little minnows, and then that'll kind of appear like they're swimming freely in the water when they're being trolled behind the boat. For this, I like to use a little bit bigger minnow. So I'm gonna put a bigger one on this one. Just got a little bit smaller one on the other one. Just kind of keep, you know, see what they're hitting on. But from the casting, it, man, it sure felt like those bigger ones is what they wanted. I'll do the schnaz, that's perfect. Okay, one thing I do like about these is they're pretty quiet, so that does help. All right, let's get set up and start our drift. So I'm, I'm letting, at first I was gonna think about 25 to 30 foot of line behind me, but I don't want the bait to come to the surface either. So I'm actually letting even more out. And what you'll notice is like the lines kind of work to the central behind you. So you wanna let out a good amount so that the line isn't like right in your wake. And I'm like curving in along the pylons to try and run the line through the structure just kind of manipulating the line to get it to do what I want, trying to dodge lily pads and that sort of thing too. Now, a lot of times you'll see like a pop, 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 and there might be little ones pecking at it, but I've also had like, when it's a big one, it'll just bend over, so I know when it's, when it's an actual fish. And there's circle hook, so between the circle hook and the fact that you're trolling, they set the hook pretty much for you. I'm kind of swooping in and out of these, so that the line is gonna drag right across the front of that nice and slow. It's live bait, so the key is a slow presentation. This slows down the presentation and keeps it in that hot zone right in front of the pillars for longer. Just wanna make sure you do it just enough not to get hung up though at the same time. There we go. That's, oh nice. And that is how you catch peacock bass while trolling in the Everglades. This guy's little, but I plan on getting a whole lot more today. Pretty cool. Awesome. Thank you for watching this how-to video, which is part of the Greenway Outdoors Outdoor Education Series. Please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more outdoor education content. Also check out the Greenway Outdoors podcast, Huntcast, and official TV show. Visit thegreenwayoutdoors.com for more information.